this? Oh wait, Should I, I can't. Do it? Time out. Wait, Mike, which ones do you want? I want the two stupid ones. I might have accidentally hit low game. New game. Oh, um, let's go. Wait. Oh, it does which one is the stupid one? I want Sayori and uh, the lady you're, who's in charge. You're Monica. Monica. Wait, why? Yeah. When I hit new game, it brings me right to into the game. I don't get to pick my name or anything. Uh, I did that too. Oh, interesting. I guess it yeah. just keeps your name from when we tried it out yesterday. <laughs> okay. okay. Like, it's gonna be you. Anyways, Eric, you can do whatever you need to do. All right, we good to so go. That's me. You happy? All right. So this me? Yes, the hey. This is me? Yes, this, this is hey! you. Hey! Jesus Christ. Uh, I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. This girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you've never seen yourself make it say, but it just kind of works out because you know each other for so long. We used to watch school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But she's going to chase after me like this, so I almost feel bad, better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Siori catch up to me. <sighs> I overslept again! Jesus but I Christ. can count you this time! <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. <laughs> you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Eric! Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. God. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean if you want to. Eric likes Siori. Eric whatever, likes Siori. Whatever you say, Siori. <laughs> <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with our students making their daily commute. By the way, Eric, have you decided on a club to join yet? Uh, club? Told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Ah, uh, that's not true. You told me you joined a club this year. Uh, did I? Sure, it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go, on, go along with whatever she's going on about. Sarah likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting on the average while... Sp Getting on by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. Yeah. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Oh. You trust me, right? Right? Don't make me keep worrying about you! <laughs> alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs that makes you happy. Jesus Christ. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! <laughs> Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. School day is, no ordin is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. Like I said before, um, the school day is never over before you know it. Uh, after I pack up my things, I start blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sarah wants to meet and check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in! Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed! <laughs> you don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make it late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, that you could come to my club! God, no. Uh, Siori. <laughs> yeah? Uh, there's no way I'm going to your club. Oh, meanie. Siori's vice president of the Literature Club. 
Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure that she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after all, the, uh, the one who proposed the club, she in uh, inherited the title of Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? God. Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. God. Piece of garbage. Can't tell if Siora is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yeah, let's go. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Siori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member's here. I told you, don't call me a new member. <laughs> this is a nightmare just eh? to play. <laughs> I glance around the room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sam. So. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Why are you so sultry? Because <laughs> that's what she's like. She's super like late and she's like a uh, depressed girl. Do you mind? Are you, are you no, doing... this, is, this is also him. Oh, Tom, you're doing this one too. Okay, okay. Am I doing the goof? Am I doing No, 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 no. Do, do the one you did for her The other that you were going to do. Uh, okay, cool. The pompous one. It better not be bad. I like this person. Like, so seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Eric, what a nice surprise! Welcome to the club! <laughs> oh god. All words escape me in this situation. This club. It's full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? Kids. If you want to say something, say it. Uh, sorry. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently not Suki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also one who made cupcakes as according to Siori. You can uh, just ignore her when she gets moody. Siori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Oh, I probably should have whispered it then. <laughs> anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. Mm, something and full this of something. is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say such things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Siori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's uh, nice to meet you both. <laughs> I'm mixing up already on the two voices. Yeah, yeah, you're going to. <laughs> it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? <laughs> God, what did I do? <laughs> Isn't it crazy? That's right! Tom was doing with us for four voices the other day. It's great to see you again, Eric. Monica smiles sweetly. Monica. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, and basically completely out of my league. So having her smile oh, at me is genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. Come sit down, Eric. We need room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. <laughs> I can't keep up with this. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? By the way, you can tell Tom doesn't watch anime. <laughs> I I, I can't do it. Tom, Tom, if you watched anime, you would actually know how each one of these characters sounds without even, like, doing a voice. That's we the best part. Clicking. You don't need to. <laughs> right. The girls have a few like, desks arranged to form a table. As Siori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Siori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Siori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay. 
Are you like ready? Ta da! Whoa. What? Shut the fuck up, it's mine. <laughs> it's what? Not... <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen <gasps> white, fluffy <gasps> cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drying with icing. A little pieces of the chocolate are used to make ears. <laughs> Kawaii! <laughs> Kawaii! <laughs> I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Like, <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sarah grabs one first, then Monica. <laughs> I follow. I can't do the voices anymore. <laughs> you have to, Michael. You, you have to do the voices. <laughs> it's so much better with the voices. Sorry, talks with a mouthful. Has already managed to get icing on her face. Who's that? Oh, Ian's in chat. He'll show you good at baking. Who's good at baking? Jesus Christ! I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. Can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing's sweet and full of flavor. Where she made it herself. This, this is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Like, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Oh, uh, see, J Tom did do the totally wrong <sighs> haven't, voice. Haven't so I heard this somewhere before? It's, it's not like I made them for you or anything. Yeah, I thought you technically did. Siori said... Well, maybe. Oh, shit. But not for you, you... You know... You dummy. <laughs> alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss this conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. Echo. Oh, this is me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. That's <laughs> not. <laughs> Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I, I, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? Um, I, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Siori. Well, I, I haven't joined any clubs yet and Siori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member of any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy to make something special out of it. And if it encourages- God damn it, stop talking, lady. If it encourages <laughs> others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling my that dream. Uh, hi chat, yes, really I'm going to make these new videos. Yuri also nods in agreement. I, I can't I'm fucking read this shit. <laughs> then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. He's basically it's just like, yeah, so why is your club so garbage? You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort of starting something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before graduation. Right, everyone? Yeah! Oh. We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's all they were here. So delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. 
So this bag looks good. I fixed it. Okay, Who's so flipping So, papers? Eric, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, it is a literature club. Well, uh, <laughs> cons <laughs> considering how little I've reached these past few years, I really don't have a good way of answering that. Manga? I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Oh, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that that can change. What am I saying? I spoke <laughs> without thinking you <laughs> after years. After seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. It's obvious, by the way, her eyes light up when she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. Well, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of lack own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I can relate to a minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Sounds like real life. Yeah, right. <laughs> Really, I wouldn't expect that. <laughs> that Yuri? For someone as gentle as you. God damn it, stop making noise. I'm trying to read this awful fucking mess. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. You really embody oh, how dull her talking I is, Tom. Or... Yeah, but that's the thing. Like, she wouldn't be Whoa. talking like that. Why is that? Well, I just... What would she that's be talking like? His eyes start over to me for a split second. Never mind. <laughs> that's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud. Give me that Fine, back. fine. Fine, fine. <laughs> <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Oh. <laughs> Hang on one sec, guys. I gotta... The stream paused for a sec. Mike, what would they sound like then? Um, Sundari have a very specific way of sounding, which your voice will never be able to achieve. Which is why I'm going for bitchy white girl. <laughs> um, and the shy one is borderline gonna be like, um, it's not sultry, they're nervous half the time. Everything they say is quiet as if they're like mumbling out of just like okay, pure fear. Okay, uh, where are you guys at? Okay. It looked like you were working on a poem called... That, where you guys are? Sayori sidles up. Uh, my Monica looks like you were working on a poem called something. Okay, you're way behind that. Okay. Uh, where where Sayori sidles up behind Natsuki. Oh, uh, okay. I uh, give that back. Is, did you already talk about her having a poem? Yes. Yep. Keep going. Okay, Keep give that back. Lines. Fine, fine. Hey, your cupcakes, your poems, and everything you do is just excuse you are. Sarah sounds up behind us so you can put her on her shoulders. Gotcha. Natsuki? I'm not cute. Natsuki, write your own poems? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I, I think that's impressive. Thanks, Ian, by the way. Why don't you just share them sometime? Mm hmm. No. Natsuki averts her eyes. Just, no. No. <laughs> just, just decided to pout right then. No. <laughs> I don't think that was that kind of no, but all right. <laughs> Take it. Oh, she decided she's now pouting about getting a compliment. You wouldn't like 
Good uh, them. Not a very confident writer yet. <laughs> I understand how that feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. You must use the five elements. <laughs> Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the Eric, same. I feel like it's... Eric cheated here because he took the narrator and himself. Yeah, so? All right, I guess it's the same for Yuri. <laughs> Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poem. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Nani? Nani? <laughs> oh my one oh, oh, yeah. mama. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Um... Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Eric? Monica smiles yeah, warmly yeah. at me once right. again. He did not Hold smile on. warmly. She smiled. <laughs> did I actually say smell? <laughs> she smells yeah. so warm. She, she smells like the cupcakes. Hold on, there's still, there's still one problem. Now, what's that? Now that we're back in the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sari may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decisions. I'm here for the cupcake bitches. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, uh, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry. I thought... <laughs> Eric... You, you all. I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price you need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. Sarah wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came by for the cupcakes, I would have been super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. I think, guys. Okay, it. everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem and bring the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Michael? Oh, God, she's talking. I thought there was, like, you. Eric, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the same anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Eric, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? Uh, that's right, I started never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, okay. the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, okay. my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. What's up, Michael? You gotta, you gotta ask uh, Ian here. Uh, how long does it take for this game to kick off? <laughs> I don't know. Does anybody in chat know how long this game starts before it gets started and get like creepy? Eric, you're not cool. No. It's, it takes like 32 I minutes. I think it takes like half. it takes like, like an hour probably. Eric, we went through two hours of this bullshit. Last oh, night. we also were really slow last night. Siori, that was Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. 
<laughs> well, I'd really be happy spending every day after school in literature club. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Ooh. All right. I just need to make the most of my circumstances. I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Do we right. all get to create the poem? Is it like I a think game? so. It's time to write a poem. Pick your words and favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Ooh. All right. So I think we all end up having different words. So we're going to we're gonna have to work through this. Okay. Well, I want all the cute ones because I want to get Natsuki. But the pro we have to pick the same ones because we want to be on the same track. I don't have bubbles. Wait, bubbles? You don't have bubbles? No, I there told you we all have different ones. So we got to pick but who I we want to impress. Yeah, no, but I want to impress pick. her. Well, I, I vote we impress um, Yuri. I I vote for cute uh, the Sundere girl that Tom's been voicing, Cupcakes. It's like not even fair. I'm the cutest Please. one there. I'm not even cute. <laughs> 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 All right, Tom. What's Why your pick? Why is Sayori not an option? Uh, she is an option. Monica's, Monica not. Not? Monica's not. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, I pick uh, Natsuki. Eric, I, whatever you guys want to do. That's All right. Well, we'll do not. We'll do Natsuki. So, uh, yes. if Michael, if you if you hover over a word, the people who would like it bounce. When you click the word. They will. Like, if you click Bubbles, she jumps and she's like, what? Okay, well, I picked Bubbles. So okay, I just so keep picking do. cute ones to get her? Yeah, I guess so. Yes. Um. Wow. Oh, Flower is not good. Uh, uh, oh, wait, I'm, uh, I'm doing bad at this. I keep I keep getting, uh, what's her face? Siori. Yeah, we'll stop it. Uh, probably Pink? Yeah. Uh, Sunny? Mouse? Vanilla? Mouse or Flower? Anime. Mouse, right? It's mouse. They're so similar. Kawaii. White sugar. Lipstick. Damn it. God, she's she's so basic. Oh. I love her. Right. Uh, Doki Doki. That's definitely hers. Um. <coughs> real. Oh, damn. anime. Promise. Universe. Pro I right, I need help real quick. Okay. Journey. Yeah. Journey. Promise. Suicide. Kiss. Contamination. Uncanny. Cry, universe, despise, broken. It doesn't need to be all of them the same. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna we should take despise. Oh, wait, Damn I did it. save this last thing. Damn it. Um. Cloud. Yo. Which order? Oh, I have to check that. Sugar. I'm just going down. Uh, Rainbow. Damn it! Top school. There was Uh, period here instead. Uh. All right. I think I think I got most of them to be her. Um, starting with. All right. I'm to the point where Monica's no, talking actually, again. I like that. What? Keep the first sentence. Um, I went to school to where my brother was playing college. I fucked up a bit. Hold on. Sparkle! Damn it! Nibble. That's a cute word. Yep, she jumped for nibble. Call me here. It's co- Shit, which one's kawaii? In academics. Don't put two. Is that scary or hap- or cute? <laughs> kawaii is cute. Should I reset the order then? Got Start it. School, comma. Kitty. And then this will give me a great opportunity. Should I switch the order of those three? Alright, I think I got her because she was the most bouncy. Yes. What? Alright, so what Monica's is, talking. Like no. Keep it like that. I like it like that. Yo, Tom, I want to mute yourself when... Why do they call them the Brother. Alright, we good to go? Yeah, Tom, you want to kick your brother out so that we no. can keep, get back to our game that you already coach. wasted time the I am, I am doing literature where I think... God. You think this is good? Though. I'm getting Sayori a lot. This is good enough, right? I'm getting her way too much. You're supposed to be cute, not happy. I'm yeah, sorry. I asked, I got, also got Sayori a couple times, but I think I got mostly... I got Sayori, I think, Natsuki. three. Yes, just make it Natsuki's wicked easy. It's pick words like bubble, nibble, hop, jump, skip, Dude. blanket, <laughs> cheeks. I guess I'm off with Sayori. What are we doing that now? Tom ruined the story. 
Your story. I can no. I can go back and I saved it. From well, day. then go back. What do you think I'm doing? Fixed it. Oh my God. Rainbow. He's scaring me. Can somebody help me? It's like not even fair that he gets to yell at me right now. <laughs> I'm gonna yell at you. I like. <laughs> you my bitch. <laughs> Marshmallow. She likes Trade sugar out. too. Uh, sugar. Uh, I'm gonna go with family. Damn it. Nope, family's family. not it. All right, read them out if you think if you're gonna be. We're, curious. We're gonna teamwork this. No, no, I got this. Boop. No, you don't. Say <laughs> that word again. <laughs> Um, oh my god, this, these are all to appear. Haha. <laughs> Milk. Shopping. Um. Lipstick. Shouldn't be so complicated. Shh, I got this. <laughs> List. <Yeah>. No. <laughs> there we go. Good. It has gone through. Yeah, so you're on Monica talking now? Uh, it's half a second wait. Okay. Yeah, we have it. Mm -hmm. So, here, I'll take care of it, don't worry. I'll buy Burge and, and Stellar. And we already hey, have it. Hey, 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 hey Tom, Tom, I couldn't help but notice your, uh, your, Not right uh, now. Actually, uh, it might be a good time, but I'm afraid because they're not playing just... the game. They are? They're not. Wait, why? They're not adding anything to one of these. Hey, Tom, I'm going to mute you until anyway. you're done talking to your brother about stocks. I already checked this. I did my literature. It's on. Good. It's you're killing good me, enough. Tom. You're yes. killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me, Smalls. What'd you got this freaking hot air balloon? Shut up. <laughs> I didn't my phone. <laughs> I need she that to do. Shut up. Uh, Monica's dude, first. Words. You're late to the stream, and then you interrupt the stream, and then you're just actually a pile of hot garbage. <laughs> but you love me. I mean, I loved you cool. at nine o'clock when we we're supposed to start streaming. Nine twenty, love gone, all the way gone. Um, <laughs> but it's like not even fair that you can make fun of me because you like totally love me but i mean i don't love you so all right all right, no. all right let's 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 go monica who's who's monica it's me are we ready finally <laughs> yeah we're yeah, good to go yeah. let's go okay because i'm over here on my phone waiting um uh, which one are you are you the is she the one i gave like the squealy voice or just the higher pitch i think it's just higher pitch it was more normalized no hi again cool. eric Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I kept my word. Well, I'm back okay, at the literature no, club. No, that I was, was the last to come in, so everyone talking. else is already hanging out. Oh, my bad. Whatever. Thanks for keeping your promise, Eric. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join the club, any clubs this year, and last year too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you take this seriously, then you won't see the end of it. What a bitch. I hate this chick. <laughs> you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Get wrecked. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Literature, she says. <laughs> Swiftly defeated, Natsuki pops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Eric always gives his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking and cleaning my room. How dependable. <laughs> Sorry, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost see your house, set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> Please no. You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little. <laughs> yeah, she is. 
How come? You and Eric can become good friends, too. Um... Um... It's Yuri. Hmm. Mm, as usual, Siri seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even bought, brought you something today, you know? Wait, Yuri. Eh? Me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? It's the head of a severed cat. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> what? You're making it sound like a big deal. What is really? Take this uh, idol from me. It's the uh, head of Mr. Mittens. Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, Bala. Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So a nice gesture from you is, is a pleasant surprise. Make me happy no matter what. Is is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal if you don't want it to be. Please be the head of a severed cat. Alright. <laughs> Drew reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. Sad. No Damn fun. it. I didn't right? want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, d dis discuss it if you want. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? <laughs> she even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank Wait, that's you. That's the way I read. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically I take read. the book. I have to read short books, otherwise I can't keep track of them. <laughs> Oh, really? I love reading. No, that's oh, why you. That's why reading H.P. Lovecraft. Case. He'd write short stories. I look forward to hearing what you think. <laughs> now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Siri and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression. Like, she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. Are you looking for something in there? Freaking Monica. Never put my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in trying to keep your collection of organized if someone else is just going to mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes around the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out who the other, where the other person stands. How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. What's up? What should I say about why? God damn it, Gabe! I'm gonna stab you. Tom, I'm gonna come to your house. Guys, it's kind of written on your face. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I, I see. What? There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. Uh, there it is. Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns the box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. <laughs> ah, much better. Seeing a box with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world, besides your face. I know that feel. Don't you dare. Don't, no, don't you dare. Get a closer dare. look at the box. She, no. Look at, no, you look at her. Hiring. She has a cat tooth and everything going on right now. I, I hate this girl, Michael. I'm sorry, but I just, I can't do it there. Parfait girls. It's a series I've never heard of in my life. It probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're going to judge, you can, go th you can go do it through a glass on that door. She points at the classroom door, so aggressive. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was in the tone of your voice and your friends. When I tell you one thing, Eric, consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. God, I hate this child. In fact. <laughs> Tatsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. She's 
slip the book right into my hands. Ah, I stare at the cover. It features four girls of colorful attire, striking anime feminine poses. It's exceedingly low. Which means? Moe. Moe? Whatever. What does that mean? Uh, it's My... pretty much, uh, it's, it's a Probably. cute, it's a very demogra- it's a demographically cute. Yeah. Don't just stand there. Okay, awesome. Yeah. That's who grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. Deep in my sea of loathing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. She pats the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can can't read at the same time. Like, yeah. Well, why is that? I, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Don't. Don't just say that. It'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arm and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. Didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I, I like can say it's particularly a bad thing. Sorry, like a Canadian there. Oh, sorry. I opened the book. Sorry. Sorry. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, claiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her appearing over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read to the beginning? Mm hmm? You don't get back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? No, you know, that's weird. Not really. <laughs> Maybe sometimes after I finish the series. Hey, are you paying attention? I do that all the time. When I read a book, I always go back to the beginning to like see the stuff I missed. Because I didn't know what was going to happen, you know? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happening yet, so I can't talk at the same time. Looks like a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these since the rare, uh, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make me up for the lack of plot. So, what should I expect from this? Is it going to be a plot? <laughs> Well, like obviously, you think <laughs> one thing this chick is lasting is 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 plot. If we're gonna be honest here, <laughs> if, you, if you catch my drift, I mean, <laughs> I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things, like there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with the guy at the ice cream shop. That just helps you get to know the characters. Besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like when they all get into all... Like, like when they... Like when God they damn it, can you, are you being a <laughs> Jesus Christ! Tom, Tom, you... They're not big words, Tom! You are literally reading when they get into all their backstories. When was that at all big words? Backstory <laughs> is a Back long is word really here. Okay, dude, it has two words put into one. It's like a conjunction or something. God damn. <laughs> it's like you don't even know how Tom difficult over here has a fucking stroke reading the bubbly pink. <laughs> We're not going to reach the scary scenes. All right, all right, when some of the romance starts to happen, that's what. that's really what makes it so good. Do you have dyslexia? Maybe that's it. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many touching parts. Ah, is, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I never made you. <laughs> hey, what a you know? <laughs> All of a sudden we're in Salem. Let's see if you can give me a little shove. <laughs> I just meant that I haven't yet seen you at your full power. It's over 9,000! Over 9,000. <clears throat> Good save. This chapter seems like it's about baking. This is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well... Natsuki Dude, pauses for a moment. Called the pink parfaits or whatever. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say. Right, she pauses for a moment if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah. What does that matter? It doesn't, I was just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's... That's just a coincidence. I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got this manga. Like... 
I would ever get into anything because it's in a manga. I feel bad for anyone that's that impressionable. That's oh a big God. word, see? <laughs> Just the <those> struggle <laughs> words. We call them one of those struggle words, you know? <laughs> De definitely not a coincidence. I guess that explained Natsuki's interest in baking. Still, of all the hobbies to pick up from a manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. Not to mention she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? Oh. Read on for a few more minutes. I finished a couple chapters at this point. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? I haven't looked at a page yet. It's not. <laughs> Even though you're just <laughs> watching me read? Um, what? Well... <laughs> so creepy. I'm fine with that. It's adorable. If you say so, it's kind of adorable, but at the same time, it's like, that's gotta be boring. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with something else, someone else. I always get to say when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Nani? Nani? Hmm? Nani? <laughs> you don't? Um... That's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? I, I, have, oh, I have no friends. <laughs> what are you saying, Michael? <laughs> don't you uh, share your mug with your friends? Could Did, you, you not rub like it in? I... I... I'll tell you in a minute. Finish reading. Okay. <laughs> we're at G's, right? Yeah, yeah, we're at G's. Okay. Oh, yeah. G's. Uh, sorry. Hmm. Look, I could ever get my friends to read this. Depressing. I just think manga is for kids. You guys, we're at the depressing part. Bring it up without them being all like, eh? You still haven't grown out of that yet? It makes me want to punch them in the face! <laughs> oh, I know those kind of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, mess less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser. Wow. So I guess gravitated <gasps> towards one another. Towards the other losers over time. <laughs> Jesus. That's how I met you guys. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's how I met all my friends. I know, I literally, losers. at first I'm sitting here like, before he mentioned that, I'm sitting here going, Dude, I'm 22, and I love anime, and look at what we're doing right now. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, he said that, and I was like, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, give me a sec. I, I gotta get a drink. I'm, like, dying of thirst down all here. Alright, we'll just keep reading through this. But it's, actually, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take a quick break. <laughs> How's it going, chat? How's oh everybody going? Okay? <laughs> oh. I'm so excited to get into the, like creepy aspect of this game. I don't know when it comes, but I feel like when it does, it's just gonna hit like a truck. Why am I late in the Discord? Back, back. Where am I? <laughs> oh, did you finally wait. see that? Wait, 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 what are we saying? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, we, uh, we were just talking about how we have uh, some uh, interesting titles in the Discord, because Tom was 20 minutes late. Alright, we're on good to go? Time. Oh, we got titles? Hold on, I wanna read them. It's just late <laughs> on time. <laughs> Apparently PUBG is not allowed in this stream. <laughs> it's not allowed if you're not in time. Um, also, <laughs> I uh, wanted to mention, I looked up Pink Parfait Manga. Did is you? it awesome? Out of, just out of curiosity, there are two, uh, there's a manga known as Parfait Tick. And yeah. it's a shoujo manga. Where, <laughs> I guess, I don't know what it's about, but I mean, that's, that's what it's called. Parfait right. Tick. It might be a shoujo manga about, you know, baking. Oh, interesting. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's keep going. I want to get to the good parts. All right. Uh, but it's probably harder for someone like you. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, you are a loser. I mean, I mean, I can feel... <laughs> I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe here. In the club room. God. Sept Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it just paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not wow. like that solves any of my problems. Just <laughs> shuts him down as like, you're not actually my friend, sorry. <laughs> Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? <laughs> So, 
Can you explain what anime is? Get out of here, John. <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I flip the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. <laughs> why is the laugh why, so creepy? Why did Sai like the wicked <laughs> wicked all of a sudden? <laughs> I was expecting that you best like. Jesus Christ. I totally forgot that happened. <laughs> Natsuki puts her fingers on one of the panels. <laughs> Minori is my favorite character. You always feel a little bad for her until she's so lucky. <clears throat> but it gets especially bad when... Oh, I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish this chapter. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. Spark contrasts are usually boss tone. But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. I was trying to express the words, the feeling you get when connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that Natsuki, for whom a rare experience, the thought makes me smile a little to myself. I just was drinking water, sorry. Choke on it. Okay, then. everyone. Eh? Hello. Are you all ready with today's poems? Uh... Do time. What? Are, oh, come on. Could your timing be any worse? Sorry. I just need to make sure we have enough time. Though you do look pretty cozy over there. Haha. <laughs> um. Ah. Asuka <laughs> suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides herself a good twelve inches away from me. All right, just guess I'll stop here for now. <laughs> yeah, right. Close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Ah, yeah, but Monica just said. Don't be so dumb. <laughs> just take Sorry. it home with you. Uh, see, see, she huh? is. She's like so stereotypically. Is that so already all right? It's great. Really all right? See, that's why I'm so excited. It's like it's such a typical, like, run in the middle slice of life kind of game, but like when it gets to the horror, I'm so stoked. I'm pumped. Everybody says they're like not okie dokie, and I'm like, oh my god, what is this game? <laughs> Watch Doki Doki, not okie Uh I say that mostly because I really don't plan to use my spare time to read this. Well, of course, it would just it would take forever to finish if you didn't take it. <laughs> Just finish that one before tomorrow, so we can start on the next one. And <laughs> if it gets bent, I'll kill you. Gets bent, I'll kill you. Uh, by, by tomorrow? I got part way through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through them. But I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Asuki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more oh, scared God, of like what me. will happen if I don't finish it? <laughs> All right then. I stand up. I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write your poem last night? Uh, yeah, yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I can really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Crap, I just skipped her. How do I go back? Uh, well, oh. now everyone's ready. Why don't we find someone to share with? Boop, 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 boop. And Sarah's up. Yeah, I, I just said, how do I go I back? Can't I can't uh, like, You can't. Sarah and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Oh. Sarah is one wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers on a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly uh, comply as well, reaching into their bags. Do the same myself. Oh, hold up. Don't pick me. I'm gonna go to the basement. I'm gonna transfer. Okay, so we all pick Natsuki, right? Uh, well, this is just the order. So we'll do yours since Tom's stepping away. We'll just do yours. Actually, Tom will have to click through him. So we'll just wait for Tom. Wait, should you do Siori? Yeah, but you're gonna have to click through it. That's fine. Okay, we'll just do Siori then. Ready, Michael? Siori. I'm hold definitely on. most. Okay. Do, 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 do. I need to close. I mean, you know. my dad's texting me something. Uh, Michael's ruining everything. All right. Don't you dare. <laughs> Tom 
I'm literally the bane of the stream's existence. <laughs> but you couldn't. But you wouldn't. Why be are you streaming it? Why not just record it? Well, because I'm recording it's... it and streaming it. I throw it on YouTube too. He has a fancy ass computer. He can do these things. True. I have. I'll be right oh, back. I have to go freeze in the tundra for like two minutes. <laughs> oh my god, am I doing this? My dad just asked me to go turn off the light in the shed. Interesting. I believe. So I'll be mean, right meantime, back. Meantime, we'll sit here Don't... and chat for a while. Alright. Downstairs. You can walk downstairs. It's not my fault. I'm trying to make sure everybody can sleep because my beautiful voice oh god, this is amazing and everybody needs to hear it and how are you i love you <laughs> you mean you're scream you're not doing any of the screaming ones anymore well i don't scream i have perfect voice acting skills and it's just like the game's fault <laughs> that i can't eat all of my talents have you ever heard uh toad's voice from uh What's mario up? have you have you ever seen that youtube video uh with toad's voice from mario well <laughs> not a thing like that for sure but no, Wait, that, that's that would what be I sound cool like? Oh. No, Wait. no. I said that we should get, we should get someone who has a voice like that. Wait, what are you saying? Have you ever heard Toad's voice from Mario? Yeah. There's a YouTube video where he's like, the Toads are being b bombed. Bombed? Hey, just look it up so Look it up sometime. Actually, right, I can find it and link it. I'll link it in the Twitch chat. Solid. Uh, let's see. I believe. Okay. Actual clip was called. I'm going to find it. I'll link it some other time. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. <coughs> well. What's going on? Good now. Did you, did you relocate to David? <laughs> Is, Is it guilty? <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> Story of my life. I oh, like life. God. Who do you even make love? Oh my god. <coughs> you alright? My voice is gonna turn into that. <laughs> too, too much screeching. Okay. There we go. I guess we just need to wait for Michael, or we can probably just go through one. Actually, I already picked oh. sharing with Story first, so I gotta wait for Michael to. Do you Who's want me to take Michael's role? <laughs> I was very skillful at it. No, this is not the fun one. No, this isn't the fun one. This isn't Goofy. <laughs> Literally the funniest shit ever. Kill, 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 kill. Oh, I love this game. Kill, kill, kill. Very. We picked some this... random words, but I think it's very loud. Kill, kill, kill. <laughs> Jesus. Oh lord. Alright, Michael needs to come back. I want to get to the creepy parts. Yo, I'm just go. I'll do Michael's lines for. Ah, well, we can wait, we can wait. Michael. Oh shit. Maybe we can. 
Time to play some PUBG while I wait. Uh, please no. <laughs> we won't what, see you for an hour. <laughs> the games are relatively quick, especially with my skill. Because I win. <laughs> because you jump down and just get murdered immediately. <laughs> just because I jump out of moving vehicles. Yeah, okay. Um, Are you, like, trying to make fun of me right now? Uh, I'm always trying to make fun of you right now. Oh, stop it. You're making me blush. <laughs> Eric, I'm going to find you. Find me with what? Don't worry, I believe. I'll I find know. you. I have no idea what you're talking about. Shh, that's the point. <laughs> what the hell is this? Yo, speaking of to the point, I didn't, Criminal Minds is on Netflix now. And I've been watching through it. And that is the most screwed up show. Like, whoever decided to write that show is actually just... A psychopath because the amount of ways they find a murder people is insane is it fake or real um i'm sure they pull some of it from real life but most of it is just made up i believe in terms of the way they do the killings but it's about like a group of fbi people who profile thing or criminals or psychopaths and serial killers and stuff like that but just the way some of these serial killers go about killing people is insane Oh, 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 I thank you. Thank you, Mr. Shafor. It means a lot. Talk to you. If you love my voice a lot, you can you can hit that follow button. Maybe that subscribe. No, I'll show you how much I appreciate that. Um... <laughs> Eric, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, nothing. Just some creep in my chat room. Who would ever be in your chat room? Like, where the <laughs> hell is the subscribe? There's no subscribe button, Eric. Oh, I can't. I can't get subscribers yet. I need to be a Twitch partner. But you can follow me. I did. I follow. There you go. Thing. I mean, it totally wasn't me. It's not like I like your. Oh, of course not. <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> oh. Oh, look at that. Follow me. He's a lot. You're welcome. Uh, is he in still in chat or he leave? Ooh. Oh, Calvin and Hobbs, I love that. That's, good. That's a solid choice. Yeah, right? I thought it was good. I love Calvin and Hobbs. Dude. I used to read them all the freaking time. I have so many Calvin and Hobbes books. Can I borrow one? Yeah, sure. I need some depressing happiness in my life. Depressing happiness? Why depressing happiness? Why just straight happiness? No, sometimes they're depressing. And sometimes, I mean, guess so, but they're mostly just like happy go lucky. No? No, you're right. It's true. I love Calvin and Hobbes. I used to read them all the time. It's every once in a while I go back. Some of them are actually just like super funny, especially if you read them as an adult. Like most of them I read as a kid, but you don't get all the jokes. Then you go back and it's like, I, I, I see what you did there. <laughs> True. Oh. Dude. Dude, what? We should play PUBG. <laughs> Uh, I say we can stream or do, do like another half hour or so. We'll get to the point we did where you go back home after the poems, then be done from there. We can do PUBG. True. Cool. That works for you. I mean, we can keep doing this all night. I'm down with it, but I'm, but I'm just bored. Yeah. It's not I, th here. I think I want to do it in a few, few sections just so I don't get tired of the reading. I want to actually enjoy the horror portions, you know? Yes, I agree with that. Like really get into it. It's <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just what? so curious because so many people are like this is the most creepy weird game I've seen in a long time and I just don't know how they can turn this into something like that this All is right. so adorable Ooh, I'm so back weird. after having to go out twice why did you just like run out to your shed I ran out to the shed in boots turned off the light came back and, and then they were like, oh, can you, did you close the door too? Didn't fucking tell me. <laughs> you did. Okay. Oofy. All right, you good to go, Michael? 
Yeah, which one are we picking? Uh, Siri. Okay. All right. I'm definitely most comfortable sharing with with Siori first. She's my good friend after all. Who's Siori, Michael? Oh yeah, this is a good poem, Eric. Are you sure it's your first time? Eh? I have text a little different. Uh oh. You said I it's have no idea you're such a good you're such a good writer. It, it's it's because um damn poem. Yeah. The extras that you got that were different. Yeah, so well, I'll just I'll just read this through until we get to reading her poem that it should normalize again. So that means we get to hear Eric's girl voice. You must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I just have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because <laughs> I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's I, part of I it. Suppose, am I supposed to just skip her now? Yeah, uh, skip until you get to her letter or her poem, I guess. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you yeah. know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Eric poem. And that makes me feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Siori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Siori. <laughs> I'm really happy that you... I'm just really happy that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of her in the club room. Or, well, of course. Oh, I'm wait. Not really into that, it yet. I, oh, you I have that? I had that part. Oh, okay. So I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. You have C, Michael? I can't. I, I passed that by a good right. amount by now. C? I mean, that's something <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. that only really good people do. Okay. It's like I said before, Eric. Deep down, you're not so selfish at all, you know. Trying new things is like things for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Uh, thanks, there, Siori. I, can, I, I got that. Okay. I'm not sure if Siori sees the full picture of my motive here. And again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. And knowing how much this means to her and all. And dumb titties. <laughs> <laughs> alright, again, again. No, alright, I just want to point out, not a single one of them is like the big titted psycho. I think Monica's uh, probably the closest to that. Yeah! <laughs> and I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? <laughs> That'll be a way of my way of thanking you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to hold you to that then. No, just don't be a pervert. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now you'll read my poem too, right? Oh, oh God! Oh God! What did yeah. I do? Oh, I, I clicked um save. I think. All right. Hey, don't worry, fine. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. All right, dear sunshine. The way you glow through my blinds in the morning it makes me feel like you missed me. Facing my forehead to help me out of bed, make me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away the rain, a, a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I'd sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> Siori. <laughs> OP poems. This is just a guess, but did you, did you wait until this morning to write this? So, uh, excuse no. me about your poem's garbage. Just a little bit. <laughs> Can't answer just a little bit in a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. <laughs> well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say it was that it was a bad poem. Came out nice, or how should I put it? Sounds just like you. Garbage. Really? Yeah. Especially that oh, no, last I like line. Her, I like her hair. <laughs> well, at least she has one redeeming quality. <laughs> it's fun. Mind. It's kind of messy. Oh, wait. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> Even though you were late to school? Breakfast is important. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this is so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. <laughs> yeah, okay. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. <laughs> well, I guess I look forward to it. Who should next we do my poems next? 
Uh, let's it's, do. It's gonna be Tom, it's Tom's turn now. All right, we'll do Natsuki. Okay, this is what we wrote the poem for. Yeah, yeah. Natsuki. Nani? Okay, we'll get started with the things I don't like. First off, I'll, first of all, um. <laughs> Natsuki rereads my poem. Uh, never mind. I don't feel like giving <laughs> you my opinion. What is this girl? What's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Uh. <laughs> let me let's just, let me start with the garbage things. But wait, never mind. I don't want any feelings. <laughs> I'm sorry, you already hit hit me, hit me home. In fact, remember oh, how I said oh. I wanted to read your poems, but. Never mind, you you were just like talking and I thought that you were reading parts that weren't in this. I was like, hold oh, on. No, 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 I was just giving a crap. Uh, that's why I had in mind when writing this. I'm like, I hope you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Oh, well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was bad. You were supposed to show me something, some dumb poem and make me go, ha. Well, it's not that great, let, but let me show you what a real hey, literature Dr. Sexy, like. thanks for following. You went and ruined it. Wait, what? I hope you're happy. There's nobody following this? Yeah, there's a few. There's seven people watching. So in other words, you're saying you liked it? No, no, no. <laughs> Hold on. We're pausing this real quick. <laughs> I'm hoping oh. Give me a second here. Uh... All right, keep going. All right, we'll wait for you. We'll no, 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 because I'm not even in it right now. So... I'm missing <laughs> lines. Don't understand what is this anything, called? do you? Uh, St. Cuthbert. Cold? Just look up my name. Why do you got to use stupid names? <laughs> that that <laughs> is a great name. I already told you that. You don't have to go around announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. There's a live... All right. There are three people. You lied. There's well, Mike, when you start, 77 total views, like but there are three people watching it, six people watching it. All right, let's keep playing the game, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm done with that. All right, people, all right, Eric, where are you? Uh, I'm on Natsuki saying, Erk, Erk, Erk. <laughs> uh, Lamb Shot 15, thanks for following. Natsuki's rhetoric gets caught in her throat. Ugh, you're so... You just... You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go around announcing it like you're all so... You're all self-important. Just you're reading. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Not so you must really hate me or something. Can't figure out if it's a win or loss that she liked my poem. In any case, <laughs> you still need to show me yours, right? I showed you mine, but show me yours. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. All right. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Because <laughs> Natsuki can't write. Yeah. I told you you weren't going <laughs> to like it. I, I like it. Totally lying, by the way. Nani? <laughs> Nani? <laughs> Just be honest. <laughs> I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. Wasn't that the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you. <laughs> it's it's like an eagle hole. can fly. <laughs> Seeing <laughs> everyone around you do great things can really be disheartening. I, so I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts you weight on wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into this than I realized. Dude, That's what it means to be a pro. What do you say, Michael? I'm glad you learned something. 
Didn't expect that from young the youngest one, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. All right, who are we going for? Monica or Yuri? Go back to Michael. Sure. Michael, we're doing Monica. All right. Let's go. Hi, Eric. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, <laughs> like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? <laughs> Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, don't be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. You're like... Your, your, your mic keeps cutting out like halfway through. Oh, does it? Yeah. It says anyway. it's going through... Oh, wait, no, hold on. What? What is he doing? I don't know. Michael? Jesus Christ. I'm He's back, struggling? I'm back. Oh, okay. Anyway. Want to <laughs> share your phone with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> God. Don't worry, Eric. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, it's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. I like it, Eric. Really? No, it sucks ass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's a lot cuter than I expected. Uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> no, no. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. Oh, hang on, guys. You son of a slut. Get back here. All right, only I can get interrupted. I am back. You said, and she's a good writer, too. Yep, so take that as a compliment, bitch. Oh. Oh, ha ha ha. You say so. You yep. <laughs> by any chance, have you read anything by Shel Silverstein? What the fuck? They're bringing out, like, real shit all of a sudden. <laughs> eh, nani? <laughs> Maybe a long time ago. Yo, Yuri is way better Lamb Chop, by the way. Uh, Lamb Chop's wrong. It's all about Natsuki, but whatever. We'll get over that later. Uh, he's <laughs> famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words. His poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad. Like my life. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes they're only a few lines long. Like my life. <laughs> <laughs> they might even feel like they're written for kids, but if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much filler in her poems. I could fill her poems. <laughs> oh my. God damn it. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. I'm, I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. Wink wink. Oh my. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bi bit biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> <laughs> God, keep going. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident as someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. 
I, I see. Well, let's read it then. All right. Hole in wall. It could have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor. An angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. Peer inside for a clue. No. Can't see. I reel, blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. I already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It wasn't too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. That is deep as fuck. I don't, I don't, uh, did you know what you were reading? A, a poem. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> so what do you think? Um, well, oh, I actually skipped one. Sorry if I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Did you just skip a line? Yeah, I accidentally clicked my double click button on my mouse, so I completely skipped a line, God, but it's cool. You dumb, you dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's not really, though. Yeah, that's the kind of <laughs> style I've gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, huh. well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. She totally shot a guy. <laughs> <laughs> a bullet wound. She was looking through his bullet wound. I got it. I win. Okay, good good job, Michael. My poems you figured it out. In the epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, Dude. here's Monica writing the tip of the day. This girl talks forever. Oh. Yeah, all right, and you fucking gave me the line, all right? Do I sound like a girl? <clears throat> Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll so never make hard, any progress. Yet so far. Doesn't even it's matter, got so far, I thought. I don't know. All right, whatever. All right. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. That was You're stupid. Still reading. So just move your hand and go with the flow. But that was fucking stupid. That's my advice <laughs> for today. <laughs> that was stupid. Thanks for listening. Zoned out so hard. All right, Yuri. Uh, I like, hold on. I just like how it's, who should I show my poem to next? Like, there was another option. <laughs> like, just, is, could it, could it be Yuri or Yuri? Oh, best go right here. Anytime now, Tom. Tom. I'm doing this for the suspense, guys. Go. <laughs> oh, okay. Tom. Um. Mm. Oh my. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes. More than enough time for it to finish reading. Um. Oh. Sorry. I forgot to start. Um. Um. It's, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry, you force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a- Er, uh, yeah? Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that I might be after reading. Ah, so it's that bad? No. Did I just raise my voice? <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. Very slightly raised your voice. Yuri bears your oh, face in her fucker. hands. I can't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take you a while to get used to your poem. I think Michael just died. Um, my mic just reset itself and it just pierced my ears. It might take a while to get used to new people. That's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Um, Lamb chops going nuts in chat. It's just that there are specific writing hats that are new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. 
I think the most notable thing that I recommend is that they try to make the rating style very deliberate. I hope you guys' okay. like voices they are coming tend to through pick here. A writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once you refines your train of thought, this version demeanor totally changes. Your stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course. That's not me blaming. There's so many difficult skills and oh, like writing even a simple I have no idea. He knows Ian. Finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example, trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a bit biased, though. Biased? Uh, how? Uh, um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about other people. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to yourself, to me, or Natsuki. You mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process. Dude, I, I'm so afraid of reading this shit, but all right, let's go. <laughs> Yuri smiles dreamily. So that's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? <coughs> all right. Oh, Ghost... God. It's... Oh, I'm going to have trouble reading this. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. Last, yet to be replaced by the sticking blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Claims. What? Breathing air of the present, Let's living in the past. The light flickers. I think it back. Hey, Tom, if you interrupt my goddamn poetry reading one more time. <laughs> I forgot. I didn't mean I'm going to come over there and beat your sorry ass. <laughs> to mute myself. <laughs> Do you understand? I'm done now. It's over with. You already ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> Lamb Chop, I will speak to you all night long if you need. Who's Lamb Chop? He knows Ian. <laughs> I don't know, I love Lamb Chop though. <laughs> Alright, who's Yuri? Who's going? Is it Matt? I have no idea. <laughs> is, it, is it Ian's imaginary friend? Is it just like another one? Ian? <laughs> Ian's actually just got a whole bunch of accounts and he's talking to himself. <laughs> he, might, he might be just. All of our viewers are actually just Ian right now. <laughs> <laughs> you <Yeah, you're> okay, <laughs> buddy? <laughs> God, it's not that funny. You, can, you know you can walk into the room with your brother right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, I right, think you can handle it to finish up the sentence here, bud. Eric, how dare you ask them for donations? What the fuck's wrong with you? I'm not asking, it's, it's just there as an option. We are anybody, not worth donations. Anybody who wants to spite Michael, feel free to donate. <laughs> Eric, did you read your line or is it so much? It's yours, I'm sorry to have so much trouble or terrible handwriting. Oh. I'm sorry. I have such terrible hair. It's cool, I'm chop. What? Nani? <laughs> <laughs> My clothes are cock. I like it. I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a really long time to read. Ah, uh, well, I just don't read a script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Just like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a really. Also, I like the poem. Even though the story was really descriptive. It. it wasn't it was too Dr. short. Sex no, wait, Dr. Sexy, I recognize that name. I usually write that's long Matt. poems. A friend of Hagrid's. Not at all. <laughs> I'm really glad that you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? 
Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Actually, the story isn't about ghosts at all. Really? I just must have totally missed the point. Dumbass. Well, <laughs> I suppose you only did play. Remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story, paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only similar to a ghost. Learning, learning her last place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. You know, Michael, it can be poppin' when they say it's left. poppin'. Get your ass out of there. Go ahead, Michael. Alright, I'm Tom. What? <laughs> Keep going. It, I, and soon it's, to be left with nothing. It's your turn, motherfucker. Oh, sorry, I, I missed you saying that. That's <laughs> that's not more solemn putting it that way. <laughs> I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Oh god, this is the part. Phew. Eric, make me a mod. I'm gonna start kicking people. <laughs> <laughs> you will never be a mod in this chat. <laughs> I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated, as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. This is what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Siore and Monica are happily chatting. Miles land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. So what this language? Huh? Did you, um, did you say something? Yeah, oh, Lam no, Lamb Chop, I'll make you a mod one day, don't you worry. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. I like how you're arguing with yourself here, Tom. <sighs> Thanks, Eric. Yours is cute. Gabe, I'm gonna get up and go over there and <laughs> slap your child. Did you just completely miss this? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I... I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you actually have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. Well, if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which... People did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and Eric did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my rights. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. You, you tell her, Yuri. You tell her who's boss. I haven't yet. <laughs> and Eric liked my poem too, you know. Yeah, I did. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? Eh? That's not why. Uh, this you, changing you're just... pace is great in the music. Yeah, Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Eric appreciates my advice more than he. Uh, and how do you know he didn't appreciate my? Why are, are you that full of yourself? I, no. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do. Uh, hang on, Tom. <gasps> Ian, I will come down there and murder you. You don't you dare call you a slut. <laughs> go ahead, Tom. It's Mike. Oh. No, you're Yuri still. Oh, I said the Yuri line. Uh, what is... Oh, what? Oh. 
I, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do cute. Uh, uh, Mike, let's you. Oh, God damn it! she showed up. Why the hell is she coming into this? <laughs> um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one who, whose boobs magically grew size bigger as soon as Eric started sh- It's some magic <laughs> power of mine. Uh, uh, Suki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me. It's just noticed I was standing there. Eric? She... she's just trying to make me... That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in trying to make all, making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Eric. Wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's a, the only way to con convey complex feelings and meaning most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessary limiting yourself, it's also a waste. I understand that, right, Eric? Uh... Well? Uh... How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Alright, guys. In chat, who are we- who- Chat's voting, uh, who are we agreeing with? No! <laughs> you only have one person in chat! We have more. It's Ian and You don't need us. Yuri. We, we got Yuri picks. Yuri. It's lamb chops. Just... Natsuki. Ooh, Ian's going Natsuki. Oh, we have we have majority no. Yuri, so I'm gonna have to go with Yuri here, guys. You wow, dick. sheep. <laughs> I'm a sheep. Natsuki. You You're right. Yuri? Yeah, I picked Yuri. Okay. You're right. Then I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. You don't even take my poem seriously. Hmm. I understand. Yuri. Uh? You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, well that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined something's writing style is, it's still putting feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Nasuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I... Mr. I Moderator see. over here. I didn't notice that I... I... I'm sorry. Uh... But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding me? That's exactly what I did. It was her that. That's now hit her. That's God. <laughs> you both said some things that you didn't mean. Just a firm backhand. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? <laughs> Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped and at this point being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up even feeling bad for her. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Siri, she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm gonna... It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. <laughs> Without warning, Naisuki snatches her poem from the desk and storms out. See, I want to out... with her, and I'm pissed. You've been outvoted. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with the hands with and throws it in the trash. Michael. That's okay. You really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in Jason's chair. <sighs> Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. I could never hate yeah. you. Yeah. No, Yuri. I do. How could anyone have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? 
You handled as well as anyone could. I don't think anyone see you. Well, all right. I believe you. Thanks, Eric. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you part of this club now. It's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Natsuki said about, you know... Her inflating tests? I would never do anything so shameful. So... Nani? <laughs> what thing did Natsuki say? Um, um... Well, never mind that. I'm gonna go make some... Ah, uh, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Y yeah. Thanks, boo. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you feel about sharing poems? It was lots of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. When did she get back in the classroom? Apparently recently. Eric, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. <laughs> oh God, please no. <laughs> and maybe you learned something about your friends too. Your poem will turn out even better. Uh, I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. And in luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nodded to myself with a newfound determination. Uh, you know, before I, before we go on, yeah. Um, ask Ian. We need to find this out real quick. When is this supposed to turn into I a psychological horror? Uh, I don't know, Ian. Do you know when it turns over to being scary? And Lamb Chop, I use a uh, Blue Yeti. This is killing me. Yeah. Anybody have any idea how long until we get to the scary crap? It says you're not sure how far in. Well, we'll, we'll keep going. Wait, what'd I do? <laughs> Only a couple more hours of gameplay. What? Uh, dude, like, I'm going to bed at midnight. I don't give a fuck. Eric! Oh. <laughs> Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sarah beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sarah and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Siori. About what happened earlier? Oh, right, me. Mm -hmm. Eh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki? That kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've ever seen a fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. You. <laughs> you know, Eric, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. Yeah, they do. That's... <laughs> Every day is gonna be so much fun. She sounds like a psychopath. <sighs> Looks like Sierra still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Siori. I pat Siori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Siori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. 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 Yeah. PK Thunder! <laughs> PK Fire! Let's do this. Alright, so now oh, we're gonna write we another, gotta do another poem. poem. I'm gonna go ahead and try to make it about Yuri. So like Well if we do so we have to do that now. Yeah. You got you gotta you gotta go with the crowd, Michael. I just clicked death and it made Sayori jump. Really? I'm gonna go with agonizing. Agonizing works. Wait, who um, are we going for? She likes like really complex words as well. So whoa, whoa, like whoa, who are we going for right now? Yuri, black eyed girl. Oh, okay. Ember, oh shit. Defeat, uh, oh no. Wow. It's oriented. Um, existence. Eternity. What? 
Yeah, she's easy. Um, judgment. Stable. After image. <laughs> Uncontrollable. Insight. Barry. Yo, I know this girl up and down. I don't. Uh, I'm doing eternity. terrible. Eternity. Uh, Memory. Rain, oh, uh, was, uh, okay. Uh, Uncanny. We're gonna go... Oh, wow. Special, oh no. Sayori jumps Graveyard. at everything like super... Yeah, she does. Um... Evanson. Evanson. Um... Alright, I think I got enough Philosophy. to get her Okay, good. Horror. Whisper. Melancholy. Uh, captive? Yeah, there we go. Uh, despise. Sensation. Uh, desire? Yep. Uh, unending. There we go. <laughs> All right. You guys through that? Yeah. Mike. Let me go. You guys are in. Are you through to the next screen? I already said I was done. I was oh, like okay. the first one fucking done. I'd be. Another day passed and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. <laughs> Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Eric. Yo, Siori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. Let's see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. I guess there's always simple things with you anyway. Speaking Jesus, of simple which, girl. I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? Uh, no thanks. Aww. Baby. That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't you take a look at your purse, Yuri? Uh, why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh, um... Siri nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets the contents spill into the desk. Only two small <laughs> coins fall out. Clean. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Siori. She's trying That's to get my money. Fair. How'd you even know? I ain't saying she's a gold digger. Simple, she's a gold digger. I'm, I'm no sugar daddy. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're hungry and wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you plan on conveniently forgetting that you spent all your money so that it would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so, then only lose one option. Uh, I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. No, this guy straight profiled this chick. Feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Years. I know. Uh, Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh, nani? Didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. Uh, uh, I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yeah. Yuri, tell Eric to let me borrow money. That's... Don't get me involved like, like that, say Yuri. Besides... You should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Uh, did I just? I I, I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed in my book. She's so adorable. Uh, <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. Fucking cunt. That's <laughs> wow, that's uncalled for. There's no way you could think that. Oh yo, wait, we're on we're still on Twitch. <laughs> do you get in trouble for that? Uh I think you the limited amount of swearing you can do, so just keep it keep it minimal. I could totally just ruin your stream. <laughs> I'd just mute you. Keep going. Hashtag 420 blizzard. It? It's Mike's turn. <laughs> Yeah, it's Mike. You were right, though. 
I did something bad, and now I have to accept my revolu the revolution. Bad what? girl. Retribution. That. Still, coming from you, Sayori, I guess there's a little devil inside us all. Isn't there? Dude, this is... Alright. <laughs> Don't don't let her fool you. Siri knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But, but, you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. <laughs> come on, give me more credit than that, Siori. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? Did she just smack us? <laughs> Yeah. Or did it, out of nowhere something smacks Yuri in the face and tumbles onto the desk? Oh, I thought I just smacked her. Ow! What was? Huh? A cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Yuri glances around. It, <laughs> this girl's is an this idiot. a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution. <laughs> Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you, but then I heard you blab about the cupcake. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> Natsuki, that's so nice of you. I'm so happy. <laughs> Why is she Asian now? <laughs> Siri hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Siri rapidly like tears you, open the wrapping like and takes it. You asked what you said that the anime character was Asian. <laughs> Alright, fair. Uh, Sir rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good! Mm. Sir suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I did my time! <laughs> You're gonna going through a lot over just one cookie. Asuki takes a bite of her own cookie. This looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah? Why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> oh, okay. Harry's killing it these days, Lamb Shop. Uh, Siri gets out of her seat and goes behind Asuki and then wraps her arms around her. Hot as fuck. Eh. Jesus. I get it, I get it. The cookie's still in hand and Asuki reaches up and nudges Siri off of her. Um. Siri suddenly leans <laughs> down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. Uh, hey! Did you just seriously do that? Ho 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 ho! Mouth full, Siri trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Eh? Asuki glances around. Monica is in the classroom. Uh, where is Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her? Not me. Yeah, I, I haven't either. Um, well, that's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? Yeah, you don't think she... She has a... Ha <gasps> <gasps> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably Ooh. more desirable than all of us can... That's not true. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me? Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. Well, yeah, I didn't need to mean be late. to be late. I hope <laughs> you guys aren't goofy. worried or anything. <laughs> Nani? Yeah. Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. Boyfriend? <laughs> what on earth are you talking about? <laughs> Monica quizzically glances at me. God, uh, uh, never mind that. Here. I can't read this all. <laughs> what helped you I up anyway? Voices it was better. Oh. 
Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. Not her last period in total, though. Oh, dear lord. Wow, that was, uh, I don't know how to take that. <laughs> please, please no more. To be honest, to be honest, I kind of lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring. I must have not heard it because I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware that you played music as well. Uh, I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool! You should play something for us, Monica! That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Sounds I'm cool. Going. I also look forward to Yay! it. Yay! Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Eric. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently, and I'd really love a chance to share once I'm ready. Let's see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I choose Leo a series mischievous escapades. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. Looks like everyone has already settled down. Saria somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back in her book, and Asuki disappeared into the closet. Alright, I want this to get scary. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I'd feel bad for Shaggy from reading. Not, not, not disgusting. Yeah, not, 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 what, what's, what's this? <laughs> this? Deep breathing down, down in my ears. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. This is the same book she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be the first few pages. Um... Crap. I think she noticed I'm me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and her eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in a book. Sorry. I, I was just spacing out. I muttered this, sensing it made her uncomfortable. Oh. It's fine. If I were more honest, that I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this. So... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm hmm. I wanted to reread some of it, not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Uh, well, when I stopped by the books at the bookstore yesterday, uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. Tom? Uh, once I once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time. It's a very engaging and relatable story. That's so. What's it about, anyway? Well, um... Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous-looking oh, eye symbol on the front cover. Game. Yeah, right? I just want to make sure I didn't accidentally give some... Basically. It's about this girl in high school who was in with his younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who are They're in the prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. Michael, get out of no here. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall. That's kind of uh, hyper fucking depressing. It's kind of dark, isn't it? You made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> you gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of this sort of thing, Eric? No, it's not that. It's... I mean, I can definitely enjoy this kind of stories, don't worry. I hope so. Yeah. I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be, but because they have their own, their own philosophy. 
that they believe in. Then, suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one letting their one- I'm- I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. I have. Well, <laughs> I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. Kill kittens. When I kill people- oh. When I have things <laughs> like- people <laughs> writing through my thoughts. Hench to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. This is means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You don't have to. <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago you were looking forward to it. Let me just get the book. I could go treat the book that I had put in my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I step into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. You sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something that I'm not very used to. That is, reading in the company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I should understand that Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. Not a particularly bad thing, maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. Glance over. Looks like she's reading from my book instead. S sorry um <laughs> Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do. I really don't mean to. Sorry, I mean, uh... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slap my desk up until it's up against the areas, then hold my book more between the two of them. Smooth as fuck. Uh, I su- Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so I intend to use my right hand to hold the book open. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds on the left side of the book, between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. I do the same with my right arm, on the right side of the book. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're holding even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Oh, are you ready? Oh yeah. Nani? To turn the page? Uh, uh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with this up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit. That's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she's finished the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting her flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, hey Yuri. Might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything, but they're kind of wrapping this up with some of your mannerisms. I... I see. You remain silent for a moment. But... Eric... That's... A terrible thing to have in common with her. Oh, it's so embarrassing that you think that. Wait, wait. I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I, I really don't know how self how self conscious you are about that sort of thing. I guess I more meant that it's kind of cute. <sighs> what are you saying all of a sudden? Hi. 
Oh god damn it, I was enjoying just kind of reading along. Alright, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's been two hours. Um, you wanna make a save here and continue tomorrow? I yes. would be glad to, since, you know, two hours and we have no scary shit. <laughs> I know, right? I, I really think Tom's killing it with voice acting. He is killing it with voice acting. Um, I have a feeling that, like, it's just a whole rotation of reading poems over and over again, and the scary just never comes. Flushing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> anyway, I think we're good, yeah? Yeah. Um, I'm down to do this again. Yeah, no, we should do it tomorrow night, probably the same time, like 9 o'clock. 9.30? What? <laughs> 9.30? Yeah, you mean if you... We'll say 9 o'clock for you, Tom, but we'll start at 9.30. Okay. All right. Bye, guys, in chat. Thank you for watching. Um, if you liked it, please feel free to leave follow. Um, you can find me on YouTube, uh, youtube.com backslash St. Cuthbert. Uh, please feel free to leave like, comment in any of the videos you see there. This is going to go up on YouTube. And feel free to subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.